What's up, y'all? It's Friday. No, it's not Friday. It's freaking... Shoot. It's Tuesday the 26th, and I'm promoting my new EP that's about to come out next Thursday, the... The 4th of August, and the release show is August 5th, hosted by Smoothie Tunes featuring Blonde Maze, Tokyo Megaplex, Ace Code, and ASAR. And it's gonna be a baby castles. So basically, I'm trying out Hootsuite because I need to schedule my tweets because I'm a very unorganized person. Obviously, I don't know what day it is today. I had to look at my Mac calendar. Why is this EP Philosophy of Love so important? Well, I wanted to release this EP since before I moved to New York, summer of last year, summer 2015. Uh, and it was originally three songs, which are now all on my uh, SoundCloud page. There was Questions vs. Answers, which is a remix of a remix. It was a, a song by Darius called Helios, and Pomo and Tennyson remixed this song. And it's basically just an instrumental dope-ass remix with some of Darius' vocals in the background, so I rapped on top of that. And just the track itself is so crazy. I have an ear for picking out certain songs that I want to attach myself to. You know, I'm like a you know freaking leech or something. When I hear some dope, I'm like. The second song was Worship Song, which was produced by Planet Giza, another group I found on SoundCloud. I think I found them through like Jonah Baseball's SoundCloud page or something. But anyway, songs just so dope. I think it's my best song to date. It's called Worship Song. And it's my thoughts on spirituality. And there's no boundaries to it. I was raised Christian and I feel like with all the guilt and the shame that I grew up in, I finally surfaced above that. Kind of like in the Matrix when Neo and Trinity are on their way to go to the to the mainframe or whatever, but to the <laughs> I'm losing it. But anyway, they're on the ship, and the ship goes above the clouds, and they can see the sun, and Trinity's like, it's beautiful, because she's never seen it her whole life. That's how I feel, and you know, about religion and stuff. Worship song is kind of my liberation from that. Track three is Funked Up, my newest single, my most recent one, produced by Solar Shield. It's a love song. It's about rejection, about me hollering at a woman, hollering at a girl when I was younger and then got rejected. So that's the most recent one, it's doing really well. Almost 4,000 plays on SoundCloud, produced by Solar Shield. I met them two years ago at South by Southwest, sent it to them on Facebook, they didn't hit me up, I kept sending them messages. Then finally one of the brothers, Chris, hit me back and was like, yo, this is dope. Yo, I love that. I love surprising a producer with me singing or rapping over one of their songs. Yo, check your email, fam. And then wait for them to hit me back be like, dude, I love that, bro. That's what I live for. So anyway, those are the original three tracks that I wanted to release before I moved to New York. And that was going to be the Philosophy of Love project. So I moved to New York August 2015, last year, and basically I just feel like I wasn't ready. I was still grinding, I was still meeting people, networking, I, I was getting shows thanks to my homie Tokyo Megaplex and Smoothie Tunes. I did the Freestyle Monday battle, shout out to Ill Spoken, I did the Supreme Bars battles, shout out to Presidium Events and uh, Roberto and the whole crew. And that helped me start getting to know people, and not even fans, like genuine friends, genuine people uh, that I look up to as peers. Maxo did a remix of Worship Song, so when he did that remix, I thought to myself, man, I think I need to get some more remixes done. So I got my boy Boba Sweat, my boy Floor Baba, that Andy guy remixing Questions vs. Answers. Shout out to Dirty Chocolate. He did a song called Flutter, and it's just so sick, so sweet, so sensual, so... And I rapped to that, and I asked Dirty Chocolate, could I put that remix I did of his song on the project? And he said, Yes! Yes! So now I'm looking at, it went from three tracks 
originally for Philosophy of Love, my new EP, now to nine tracks on this joint. And they are all love-related songs. Of course, romantic love, love for my creator, and love for other people and just how we differ in our beliefs. And, you know, that's why I call this project Philosophy of Love, because I'm a thinker. I'm a thinker. I'm not an official philosopher, but damn it, I think I'm a philosopher. The way I think, I ain't heard nobody think this way. So I'm happy to share my outlook, my thesis about love with you all. So today, back to today, uh, Tuesday, July 26th, I'm promoting the release show, which is August 5th. My project coming out, which is August 4th. I gotta run around the city. I gotta run around New York today, get some stuff done. I'm also going to a Glass Animals concert a little later. Me and the boo, me and the wifey. Uh, we're gonna check them out at the House of Yes in Brooklyn. So basically, let me get some business. Y'all need to shut up. Y'all talking too much. I'm typing so many links. I'm typing so many links and tweets. Promote, 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 promote. Come to my show. Promote, promote. Download my album when it comes out. Please. Come on, please come, please come. The future. <laughs> the future.